my name is Alan Trano. I am the chairman of the Northeast Astronomy Forum. Today is the 20th anniversary of the Northeast Astronomy Forum, which is the world's largest astronomical trade show, telescope show, and astronomy show. We have many different uh, activities. Kids Corner is where we have many educators from throughout the United States that come and volunteer their time. We have all kinds of experiments, activities that they can do. Uh, one of them, uh, we did something called non-Newtonian fluids, where they're mixing cornstarch with water to a consistency where you can walk across it, and if you stop, you will actually sink it. And I, I had never seen it before myself, and I am totally in awe of it. We have two Star Lab planetarium domes with different shows going on throughout the weekend. We have from uh, the Science Channel, the Meteorite Men are here. They did a whole program with the kids on meteorites. We have Dr. Mike Reynolds, another educator from Florida who does awesome kids programs. This year I brought in a couple of new things. I brought in a 75 foot inflatable obstacle course and I'm being told that this is the best thing in the world by every parent that is attending. So that'll be here next year. We also have in the back something that's really diversified is we have an actual rapture show. And we have an or a group here that brought in four very large birds. And they're actually doing bird shows throughout the weekend. And you can actually hold the birds and pet them and have your photo taken. That's something that appeals to a lot of the moms and wives of our amateur astronomers. The hobby of astronomy is so important because it's the only science where you can go out and see the same universe that the professional astronomers use. Amateurs don't have that capability in any other science and most of us, as Carl Sagan, uh, who was a friend of mine, used to say, go through our lives on Earth, our birth, our whole life and death, not realizing where we are in the scheme of things in the universe. And it's so easy, instead of this 2D planet that we're on the surface, to look out into the universe and to see the hundreds of thousands and millions and billions of stars that are out there in other galaxies and imagine whether people are looking back at us too. The Astronomy Outreach Foundation at NEEF and with its activities elsewhere is really promoting the hobby to the industry. They're promoting uh, getting the industry to work together to promote the hobby of astronomy and to make it easy for people to discover how fun astronomy can be. It's very, very easy as long as you have a reasonably dark sky to go out and to discover the universe and that's what the Astronomy Outreach Foundation is all about, is bringing amateur astronomy to a new generation, Gen X and Gen Y, and letting them know that reality can be pretty much fun as well as non-reality. Another aspect of astronomy which is tremendous and something I'm greatly involved in is daytime astronomy. As, as cities get built bigger and bigger, our night sky gets dark, uh, lighter and lighter. And it's getting harder and harder to do nighttime astronomy from many of the areas. Many amateur astronomers have to drive further and further away from their homes to actually view the night sky. Something that's quite a bit different is there, our closest star everyone forgets about is the sun. And with special telescopes, one is able to actually observe different features on the sun. And another portion of NEEF, which is tremendous, is we have what's called the NEEF Solar Star Party. This NEEF Solar Star Party has been going on since 2004. Prior to that, I would have my own solar telescope outside of the door. Uh, various, I've had various solar filters over the years. So prior from uh, 
1991 to 2003, I observed the sun myself outside the door of Neef. And then we created the Neef Solar Star Party, which is a collection of, uh, a, like a pro-am event with the vendors of Neef and the solar people. The solar people uh, come from various states, maybe five or six states uh, from various countries, maybe four or five different countries. There's a kids program at Neef, and every year what they do is they bring the kids out here and they'll go there and we'll show them, we'll show them the different things. And we had the, the girl, the lady inside had UV detection beads. And she had the kids make a necklace out of these things. And inside the room, they're white. And when the kids came out here, they turned all different colors. So again, it's an educational thing for the next generation of NEF attendees. Uh, so basically we have something, we have something for everyone. So what can I say, we, 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 our, our object is to support the meat vendors and education. For the second year this year, Astronomy Magazine has sponsored a contest, a youth essay contest, in which young people um, from just a few years old all the way up until through their teenage years uh, write essays on why they love astronomy. And the winner this year is Benjamin Palmer, who's from New York, uh, nearly a local fellow here, who is a very excitable and excited 16-year-old who has a passion for astronomy. We've brought Benjamin here to the show. His mother and his sister are here with them. And he is what really typifies uh, the focus and the excitement and the brilliance of a young person at the age of 16 getting into astronomy and discovering how exciting the universe can be. Everyday life for, for the general person is all about uh, family and, uh, and community and you know the basic daily things of life. A lot of people never get a chance to look through a telescope uh, to, to do so kind of exposes the person to a little bit more uh, of a, a broader outreach in their own experience. Uh, maybe what we're doing is we're sparking the next uh, physicist or the next uh, biologist or even anything in physics, science, math, engineering. It's, it's just one more piece of learning that helps you know, pull you into something maybe a little bit outside of what you might be exposed to normally. Um, I'm Liz Sharp. I'm currently at UMass, but I've been part of Stellafane, or the club that puts on Stellafane, the Springfield Telescope Makers, for a few years. And we build amateur telescopes, in particular the grinding the mirrors from flat pieces of glass. I've been going up to convention for 10 years now, and I think I've been, I started my own mirror when I was 10 or 11, and I'm 18 now, so eight-ish years. For me, I was never much of an astronomer, so getting to be in the physics aspect of it, getting to see why it works, was really awesome. It was um, not only interesting, but it was fun to do. And I, for, it's relaxing to get into and actually be able to make something that productive, I guess. I'm standing in front of my You Can Do Astronomy booth, and I'm talking to people about our new book, Everyone's Universe, A Guide to Accessible Astronomy Places. Telling people exactly how you can make star parties and observatories accessible to people who are in wheelchairs, have mobility issues, are low vision, blind, um, hard of hearing, deaf, or nonverbal communicators. It's definitely possible to make astronomy accessible. I've always loved astronomy. I grew up watching Star Trek and just thinking about places beyond where I lived. It was amazing to think about people from different places who could come together and share an experience. And so I wanted to be one of those people. And so that got me into astronomy and I want to share astronomy with others regardless of ability. Everybody has ability, it's access ability. Most major cities have astronomy clubs. So the best thing to do would probably be to do a Google search in your area for astronomy clubs. That's the easiest thing. Then go to their website, look, check on their calendar of events, see when they're having a public viewing session. Plan on going, bring your family, go there. You're gonna have people at these, uh, at these viewing sessions with phenomenal telescopes. 
fully willing to show you the night sky. Don't buy anything. Go there. Enjoy it. Eventually, we hope you buy something for yourself. But that is the best way to get started in astronomy.